Welcome to the Super Book Show. We've talked about the names of people and the names of God before. So it only makes sense that our next show should be about names of things. Names of things. For example, I named my stapler Bob. Oh, I wasn't thinking about naming things people names as much as talking about labels. Right, of course. I didn't really name my stapler Bob. That was just a joke. You did name your stapler Bob, didn't you? You were saying something about labels? What we call something affects the way we think about that thing or person. For instance? My sister makes this dessert. It's kind of like a brownie with caramel and a bunch of other things. And we call it good stuff. Sounds good to me. Yeah, but I don't know if it's my favorite just because I like it that much or just because we call it that. Yeah, putting a label on something makes you feel good about the good stuff. For instance, my friend Trisha. Yeah? Yeah, she likes to buy vintage clothes. Really what she gets is just used, older stuff, but by calling it vintage. So would you rather wear vintage or used? It's on the label. It applies to people too. Nicknames, name calling. Sounds like we're getting into some dangerous territory. We are. Jesus said when he was talking about anger, if you say that someone is worthless, you are in danger of the fires of hell. Okay, okay, okay. Name calling, bad, got it. Bad label, bad. <laughs> but you can use a good label and turn it around. It helps you stay positive about a person. Yeah, my dad calls my mom Angel. It's so sappy. No, but it reminds him of how much he loves her. I think I'm gonna start calling you good stuff. <laughs> I won't Aww. complain. Okay, so this next thing I'm gonna talk about, I have to approach very carefully. I have this friend who, when referring to people of another race, uses a negative word, and he says it's completely harmless. It's not. Constantly talking about a person using a label with a negative feeling attached, well, it's like calling them angel, but in reverse. Yeah, it changes about how you think of a whole group of people. That's right. One last thing. Jesus wants us to deeply think about what label we give him. Jesus asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? I remember that. They thought he was Elijah or John the Baptist or some other kind of prophet. And then Jesus asked, who do you say that I am? And then Peter said, you are the Messiah. That was a big moment for Peter. Mm -hmm. That's an important question. Who do you say I am? Hmm. How we label Jesus is important. It helps us think about him in the right way. Some would label him just as a good teacher or another prophet. Instead of Lord, Messiah, or Savior. I never really thought about that. Mm -hmm. Labels are important. They sure are good stuff. <laughs> His, His word, word is, is forever, forever alive. alive. What label would you give Jesus? Let us know down in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe. Label others with good names. See how that changes you. We'll see you soon.